by itself. Join me now is Senator Roy Blunt. Thank you for being here, sir. Harry Reid, the Obama administration, uh, they point a populist finger at the oil companies. Do the oil companies deserve all the blame for four buck gas? Yeah, I don't even know what economic school you'd go to, Senator Reid's statement that I just heard made sense, that we've got to do something about gas prices, and the best way to do that is increase taxes on gas companies. Uh, I mean, that, that makes no sense at all. Uh, that, and in fact, they finally admitted that they would have no impact, no positive impact on gas prices with their proposal. And I think the likelihood is that, like all other taxes, they would have been passed along at the pump and prices would have gone up, not down. What we need is more American energy, and that'll produce more American jobs. And what we really need are more private sector jobs in the United States. Boy, you, you, you point to the exact right place to go for, for new jobs. You want job creation. Look at the oil companies. Look right. at the drillers. Look at the refiners. Uh, literally could, could add millions of American jobs if you open it up a little bit. What, what, is, what is it against American jobs, and what's so important about a Brazilian job or a Colombian job with the Obama administration? Well, I think that's exactly right. And, you know, our, one of our targets domestically needs to be more private sector jobs, and the other one needs to be uh, get this spending reduced. But on the more private sector jobs, what more sure place could you go in the marketplace than energy? We use just about as much electricity in a bad economy as a good economy. We use just about as much gasoline in a bad economy as a good economy. Let's, let's produce those things here. So let's look at every way we can produce more energy and do that at home. And the way to do that is not to tax uh, our companies and discourage American exploration and uh, encourage, in fact, that they look other places or give these other countries like Venezuela and Brazil an advantage over our, our, on our companies by, uh, by advantaging them in the tax marketplace. And it would, just, it would just like being in another universe where we're not talking about realistically what we ought to do, but it's so much easier just to bash some company than it is to really try to cr help create jobs and solve the problem. And very quickly, Senator, uh, $3 billion is what uh, they were looking to tax the big five big oil companies uh, it, it, more. Um, but we have a trillion and a half budget deficit, the, the amount of money we're going to spend more than we're going to take in this year. Was this just, um, I don't know, dog and pony show? What, what was it? Well, they, they, they said you'd, you'd uh, save, uh, you'd uh, get 21 billion dollars of revenue over the next 10 years, right. we're going to borrow 21 billion dollars the next four days. Right. You know, five right. days of borrowing at four billion a day, it was just, let's not deal with the real problem, let's not create the real opportunity. And again, like you said, the real opportunity in job creation is American energy, and we ought to be looking for everything we can do that encourages that, not looking at things that discourage that. All right, another example of Obama math, uh, fuzzy Obama math at that. Thank you very much, Senator for joining okay. us today. All right, bring that